Okay, welcome back to Screen Print TV. I just did a test print here, and I want to show you guys what fibrillation is. Fibrillation is when the fibers of your shirt pull up through your ink after you uh, lift your screen. And that's what we got going on here. And some of the symptoms of that is your, what cause, what could cause that is your, well, several things. You're off contact, your screen laying on your ink. You're not clearing your screen, the ink out of your screen. You're not pushing it all the way through whenever you're printing. And when you lift your screen up, it pulling up the ink and fibers. And your screen itself could cause it a uh, loose tension, squeegee, the squeegee pressure, the amount of pressure that you're using the print with, and the shirt itself. You know, Gildan, this is a Gildan shirt that I'm printing on. But I'm gonna hold this right here and back up a little bit. I got my hand on the camera lens. All right, I'm going to see if we can press that out. You can see the pinhole is also on the shirt. Here I just want to we can press that. We're gonna see. I'm gonna press it and see what happens. I'm gonna press it for about 30 seconds. I know I don't need to press it that long but I'm gonna do it anyway. I want to get this video a little length. Okay, that's it right there. And now if you look at it, let me see if we get back in focus here. Let's see if we're gonna get back in focus. Let me back up here. Come back in slow. You see how now how you can press that out, how flat it is now. So that's one way of solving that problem. If you have some shirts that uh, have a fibrillation problem, you can use your heat press to press the fibers back in. Or you can use a, if you have a roller squeegee or roller screen on your press that you can, you can press the uh, fibers back into the, into the uh, screen. So I just want to share that, get that with you guys, what fibrillation is, where the fibers pull through the ink. And the way to solve that is just, hey, you can use your heat press to press your ink, press your ink and press your fibers back down, and it gives you a smoother white, a flatter white. Even though this wasn't the best print, this was a test print that I was just testing. Um, looking for pinholes, which I found, and looking for print problems, which I found. And if you can see that, it's not really a clean print around the edges of the camel and the circle. It's kind of ragged. So those are some things that I will, and it's an old screen that I'm using to print with. So, and this was just a, just a test for a customer. I just want to share that with you. This fibrillation, when the Fibers pull up through the ink on your screen, on your, not on your screen, but on your shirt as you print. And you can have a, you can use a flattening a system on your press, uh, a roller and a Teflon sheet and just a blank screen. Or you can do it with a squeegee or you can use your heat press. Those are some ways to flatten out your, your inks. You can, a lot of people use it on the white, white inks. To get a flat white but you can use it on any inks so i just want to share that with you guys and thank you guys for taking time out to watch this video hit the subscribe button leave a comment and what else do we need to do we leave a leave a comment like oh like and subscribe okay thank you guys i am out